You still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not, not of late. Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. Stephen A, uh, the news again coming in moments ago, Kevin Durant heading to the Golden State Warriors. How are you viewing this move from Durant? The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple, that's just how I look at it. Um, in this fall, man, it's very tough. And you depart for the team that beat you when you're on the cusp of getting to the finals yourself? Um, in this fall, I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. And for him to go on there and drag us through the mud for seven years and stab us in the heart. I think it's a scapegoat move to try to ease your way into a championship. So, uh, KD against his former team. LeBron James of the Miami Heat at Wicked Loans Arena on a night unlike any other. I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. People are always saying about the talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk, but guess who can walk? I'm be the best player in the league. I don't see why. I pack it up! I pack it up! Start with LeBron James, the Ohio high school basketball sensation, who everyone can see tonight on ESPN2. Mike, I come from an area where they televise the high school football game of the week, and so I have nothing against putting high school kids on TV, and I think there's news value in seeing LeBron James. But I can't get the word exploitation out of my mind. Help me out. How come I feel so uneasy about this? I can't help you, Tony, because I feel uneasy about it, too. My father had a phrase, too much, too soon. And that doesn't just apply to LeBron James. It applies to all these kids now. Culturally, I don't know how any kid can be ready for this. You know that Adidas and Nike are apparently at war over this kid already? By just doing what I know how to do. How much pressure do you feel? There's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. I've been getting pressure since I was 10 years old. I don't think there's no pressure for me because I'm doing something that I love to do. And that's play the game of basketball. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing that y'all love to do. And that's y'all like to watch me play basketball. If I ask y'all that question, y'all gonna say the same thing. I mean, is there any pressure to ask me these questions? It's no pressure because y'all y'all know how to do what y'all do, right? With the first pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. I've been around for, you know, hopefully the average 10, 10 to 15 years, but I'm just trying to do the best I can. We have better players than him in his position already on our team, though. Get LeBron is just going to add, add to what we need. And I don't think you can really just bring a high school player in. You know what I'm saying? He can just hop on our bandwagon. I'm not going to guarantee no championship. I'll tell you that. I just hope that they accept me for who I am as a basketball player, especially as a person. I hope I, hope I can uh, put a lot of smiles back on the people's faces in Cleveland. Here he comes the other way. There's your first James Jam of his career. And probably the most anticipated debut of any first-year athlete in any sport. Oh, here's McKinnis with a high dribble. Oh! 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 oh. Very few players that have that combination of speed and size and athleticism. Oh! LeBron James with no regard for human life! To come into the NBA, and he's the only one who's ever been really good at 18. Get ready for your Kodak moment! To be 18 years old, come into the NBA, live up to the hype, is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. NBA most valuable player, breakaway for the Cavs, gets it to the ground! He always leaves you speechless, I'll tell you. No way! There's an earthquake in Cleveland, Ohio! LeBron's pass was exquisite. Oh, he stops! LeBron James puts him down! The youngest of 15,000. Block! Consumed! Obliterated by LeBron James! Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Two in a row, NBA MVP, LeBron James. Gets it, fires up a quick three, won't go. Smith the rebound, back out, stolen by Allison. That'll do it. The Celtics are going back to the Eastern Conference.
conference finals for the first time. Fallout of this one game has been minutely examined and is being considered a referendum on LeBron's entire NBA career to this point. The Orlando Magic have defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers in six. This is topic A. As a matter of yep. fact, this topic A, B, C, D, and E in the NBA circles today. He had a terrible game. Now, you know what he looked like? What? He looked to me like a guy who knew he was leaving town. The Boston Celtics with the huge upset. They advanced to the conference finals. And Cleveland fans wondering if that's the last time he'll take off a Cavalier jersey. No, he's not going to leave his home state and the, the, the team closest to his hometown. He's not going to run out on his people. I think you have to leave at least a little wiggle room for Cleveland, Chicago, and New York. You are now looking live at the King, LeBron James, about to sit down with Jim Gray and tell the world his decision about where he's going to play next year. Still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not, not of late. Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, this is, this is very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. We've supported him for seven years now, and for him to go on there and drag us through the mud for seven years and stab us in the heart, he deserves everything he gets. I hope he never wins anything in Miami. Not two, not three, not four. Honestly, I think it was very arrogant, and I think it was a slap in the face to the city. Not five, not six. I feel horrible, disappointed. Not seven. I can't believe that he would do that to Cleveland. I hope he never wins any championships wherever he's at, because he's a loser, he's not a winner. You're going to be here, you're going to be in if you're not, then just be gone. But you could have gave us the decency of letting us know before you let the <laughs> national media know and the world know and embarrass us in the process. I'm not going to guarantee no championships. I tell you I'm that. Try to do the best I, can. I just hope that they accept me for who I am as a basketball player, and especially as a person. I hope I, hope I can uh, put a lot of smiles back on people's faces in Cleveland. Going through my first seven years in the NBA, I was always the, you know, the liked one. And to be in, on the other side, um, you know, they call it the dark side or the villain, whatever they call it. Um, it was it was definitely challenging for myself. It was a situation I'd never been in before, and uh, it took a long time to adjust to it. You feel the hate. You sort of feel all this, and people burning your jersey on TV. Right. What does that turn you into? When you start to hear the villain, uh, now you have to be the villain. You, uh, you know, and I started to buy into it. I started to play, uh, play the game of basketball at a, at a, at a level or at a mind state that I've never played at before, uh, meaning angry. For seven seasons, LeBron James wore the colors of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then came the decision, and tonight comes the return. And moments ago, he took to the court in Cleveland. I've been about basketball for 25 to 30 years and have never seen an electricity in a building and the intensity in a building for a regular season game. This feels like the NBA Finals it right does. now. It does. I, I, and this like is like no exact seven. Seven. Tonight, I just hope nothing bad happens. At four, six, eight from St. Vincent St. Mary High School, number six, LeBron James. There is extensive security here, but you don't want to see some wacko run out of the court or items being thrown. Incidentally, beverages are being served only in paper cups as a precaution. LeBron with the jumper. That's a great sign got by making that move. James with a beautiful move. Anthony has checked in for Miami. Here is James drilling it. Guarding LeBron James and LeBron James for three. LeBron James over at the Cavaliers bench to nine. Here's James off the fifth. Turner, the turnover there from Williams. LeBron to the bucket. Shot clock to five. James for three. James steps back and hits again. That's a two again with the front. Here's James on the move. James Williams in counts of the foul. LeBron James is just LeBron. Fire here. Bring it over to James. Yes. And a foul. Oh, oh, oh. Man. Wow. Out another for Miami. James. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's... Oh.
Oh, this is not fair now. Tonight, what would you like to say to them if you could? Uh, seven great years. Um, loved every part. Um, loved every moment um, from the growth when I was an 18-year-old kid to a 25-year-old man. And um, I got the utmost respect for this for this franchise, utmost respect for these fans. And, um, you know, just continue the greatness for myself here in Miami and uh, try to get better every day. Kevin Durant from the University of Texas, the most complete perimeter big man since Kevin Garnett. He's got every skill that you want in a player. He can shoot it, he can post, he can rebound. He's got it all, and he's an absolute scoring machine. Faced every defense you can possibly imagine. Still, still scored about 26 points per game. Was player of the year, consensus the first ever as a freshman. And his skill set and size fits the current NBA game of speed and skill. He's got it all. And in another year, Fred and, and Greg, he would have been the first pick. But because yeah. Greg Oden's in this draft, the prototype center that's going to be a championship level player, I think he's going to be the second pick. With the second pick in the 2007 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant from the University of Texas. It goes back to the way he was raised, his background, his young coaches that were there with him at an early stage in his life. They kept him out of trouble and taught him that hey, if you're going to be good at this game, you got to work hard. You know who's saying that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. Somebody forgot to tell him he was talented. And when you talked about this in the last 40 years, Michael Jordan was six foot six. Kobe Bryant was six foot seven, six foot six. So when you're watching these guys, even LeBron James is six foot nine. But Kevin Durant is a full, you know, three, four inches to seven him. All of tall, these guys right? with seven that feet length. Tall. He is the most unguardable human that's ever been created from an offensive standpoint. Can shoot, can dribble, can pass, can drive, can do everything. Right to Broadway with a right hand slam, and he got fouled. My goodness. Durant actually had position. Sweeping down, they finish second in the third round. And a great jam inside by Durant. In a tie game, Durant for three for the road. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. A half a second remaining, and Durant has done it again to the rim. For the lead, and he drills it. Kevin Durant. 15 and a half seconds left, and look at Durant putting on a show. And one. Durant swings past everybody for the emphatic jazz. Well, now I got a piece of that one. Almost out of bounds somehow. Durant lets oh, it go. Oh, Durant from a jumper. Up the rim and oh, it's a 1.5 left. And he got a rare back and win it. Thunder wins! Thunder wins! taking it down! Rocking the rim, going high, coming down hard. Here is Durant for the win! Give it The 2013-14 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player. Conference Finals taking a turn that none of us expected. The Warriors lost back-to-back -back games for the first time this season as the Thunder dominated them in Game 4 and the champs on the brink of elimination. I have never, ever seen Steph Curry attacked by a player the way Russell Westbrook has been attacking him. But the real key here is that there's a superstar in Kevin Durant who's really shining, they have to respond. I told you it was cold red yesterday. You know it's damn sure cold red right now. I must say I agree with every point you just made. Final seconds, here's Waiters, and that will do it. The series lives on. The biggest difference last night to me was Steve Kerr and the changes and adjustments that he did finally make in this series. I anticipate that the Oklahoma City Thunder, albeit with the pressure mounting on their shoulders because they need to win game six and avoid a return to the Oracle for game seven, they're confident they can get the job done, and I anticipate that that's exactly what their mindset is. Three for Thompson, and that is an NBA record. His tenth three-pointer. Pretty quiet in here, and you held up seven fingers. What do you imagine Game 7 is going to be like now that you got it back home? Take care of business at home, so we got a, we got a great opportunity. I religiously state that Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook are two of the five best players in the game. But we have to call it like we saw it. That was a choke job in Game 6. There is no other way to slice it. And as a result, may have cost their team a trip 
to the finals. The Warriors do it by becoming only the 10th team out of 243 to win a best of seven series while trailing three games to one. Stephen A., uh, the news again coming in moments ago. Kevin Durant heading to the Golden State Warriors. How are you viewing this move from Durant? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple. That's just how I look at it. Because he's there with Draymond and the Eagle Dollar and Clay. Try and, this. And, and, and listen, when they play five and, and, out and now. And it allows them to disguise Steph Curry even more. Damn it, it ain't fair. From a personal side, I'm disappointed. I was disappointed like I was disappointed when uh, LeBron went to Miami. Who had the best chance to of giving me the opportunity to win the championship and grow as a person and also grow as a man. And I think Golden State presented that to him more so than OKC. He, he's joining the team that he couldn't beat in the Western Conference playoffs. And you depart for the team that beat you? Can you imagine a great Michael Jordan saying, you know what, I can't beat the Pistons. I'm going to go play for the Pistons. No, he got more joy beating the Pistons, winning it. It was a sense to me of pride and purpose to beat the other great. I never wanted to play with him. Kind of, kind of gravy train on a terrific Warriors team. Uh, you know, we you can use any words you want to. I think it's a scapegoat move to try to ease your way into a championship. I know you guys think I forgot Russ, <laughs> but I could speak all night about Russell, um, an emotional guy who will run through a wall for me. I don't take it for granted. I love you. A lot of people put unfair uh, criticism on you as a as a player, and I'm the first to have your back through it all. Just stay the person you are, man. Everybody loves you here. I love you. Last month, you were quoted in USA Today as saying that the perceived tension between you and Russell Westbrook and your old team, the word you used was fake drama. What what leads you to kind of... They're, they're trying to get in between this thing and, and make it bigger than what it is. You know, obviously, Russell wasn't going to hear that interview I had about me just talking about my teammates I have now. And, you know, so someone in Oklahoma City phrased to him as if I, I was calling them selfish. So, you know, is that easy? Is that easy for um, the media to twist something up and for the media to you know, uh, make a feud between us? Media ain't trying to do a damn thing, Kevin Durant. You did it when you left. And you didn't even have the decency to see him face to face, man to man, and tell him. Or for that matter, pick up the phone and tell him. You decided that he was going to find out like everybody else found out with the news. And that's what put Russell Westbrook back. So understand, let's put this in perspective. And it's very, very important that we understand this. Because he may not have been intentional in doing it. It may have been very, very hard for him just to look this guy in the face that he called his little brother all of these years and say, I'm leaving. say that former player, uh, should we say his name? It's KD, right? That's who we're talking about? Uh, so, uh, KD against his former team. You know, my advice to him is just let the game come to him, don't try to do too much. This is the t-shirt they walked in with this morning. This is what's on the front, and this is what's on the back. That would be a cupcake. I think that's a pretty good indicator. I know they're bitter. But you, there should be some respect. The instinctual reaction of fans is going to be to put forward 6 9 from Texas, number 35, Kevin Durant. His first shot. That might have something to do with the diminishing of the booze. Durant knocks that one down. Durant fires away and knocks down the three. Kevin Durant, Robertson right on him, Durant drives and finishes strong, and Durant now trying to come alive, he's got 13, Durant ahead of the pack, Durant to handle the crossover, the pull up, Durant, 
again. Metal wins. And oh, Durant throws it down. Durant rises and connects. He has been scalding tonight. That's just getting to your spot and elevating. That's all-time great offense. The Pistons are going to have to step in sooner or later. As these former star teammates drawing at each other. Like, and I guarantee you that has happened time and time again when they were teammates <laughs> practicing against one another. Now Durant and Robertson go forehead to forehead. Durant still talking to him. Durant way downtown. Bang! Kevin Durant drills the three-pointer. And here's the boost from the crowd as Golden State goes up 19. So, once again, none of the players exchange hugs or anything like that. Does that mean something to you? Not at all. All right, Kevin, congratulations.